Hey everybody, how's it going? Back with another Final Fantasy 13 video. This time around, I'm going to be showing you a nice grinding spot for experience points to max out your Crystallium. Um, unfortunately though, this is missable, and also unfortunately, you can't actually max out your Crystallium until you beat the game. And this is part of the game, and once you go past this part, there's no coming back, unfortunately. So, you can max out your Crystallium t uh, at stage 9, but however, you're gonna have to um, still find a grinding spot for stage 10. But fortunately, I should be able to have maxed out Crystallium by the time I do all the Titan's Trials and the harder uh, missions at this point. So, I've done about half the missions in the game, 5 star. And I should be able to get to Max Crystallium with the Growth Egg equipped once I do all the Titan's Trials um, and all the hard hunts. And if I need to, I can always uh, grind for more money against the Adamant Choices and stuff like that. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a challenge. So, what this, what this uh, grinding spot entails is we're going to be fighting this one enemy constantly. This monster is very obnoxious, but because we're so strong now, kind of. I mean, you may have to have a sentinel if you're not strong enough. But I think I'm strong enough to deal with this guy without him. So what we're going to do is, everyone's going to have the, this equip, the Tetradic ti Tiara. So we have Protect Shell, Veil and Vil Viligent. Did I say that right? Probably not. Um, so everybody's got this on. Uh, I've got the growth egg equipped to get double XP, so I'm going to net 60k experience every time I do this. Um, Snow's got resist physical because he was my sentinel. Um, ideally, you want auto brave, but I am not going to get that right now because I'm going to show you how to get that in a future video and stuff like that. Not like it's hard or anything, but you know. Uh, our paradigms for this is we're going to start out with this. Uh, we're gonna, basically, our main priority is getting Deep Protect on. And once we have Deep Protect, we're going to switch to this so Fang and Snow can just attack him. And once Light has M Fire on everybody, then we can switch to Triple Commando and finish him off. So the fight should look something like this. Ideally, you'd want sprint shoes as well to uh, do this fast. Uh, we got the deep protect done pretty much immediately, so we'll switch to this and we'll get the attack on. Light's got um, and fire as well. Let's finish up this. Get the ATB refresh. I didn't get the ATB refresh. <laughs> oh. And he's pretty much dead at this point. So that took about 30 seconds, right? And I got 64k XP. And how you respawn him is you have to ride the elevator back down. If we had turbo, this would be much, much faster, but unfortunately we don't. And for him to actually respawn, you actually have to go all the way back to the save point and then run back. Fortunately, it isn't too far away, but it's still kind of a little bit of a track, so it can be a little bit monotonous. But it's a very fast, easy way to get 64k XP. And you do this for like 80 to 100 fights, and you should have Max Crystallium at stage 9, and have like 900k XP for the next uh, for the next Crystallium uh, once you beat the game. Because I'm on my way to beat the game at this point. So now we just rinse and repeat and do this for probably about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. This only, it only takes that long. Assuming you are strong enough, maybe you're not strong enough. Wow, I didn't get the deep protect soul. That's garbage. At least I got my empires already, so I can just go straight to the commandos. You can just auto battle. Get the HP refresh. I didn't get the HP refresh. It's garbage. Oh yeah, he does dispel your buffs sometimes, and he dispels his D-shell, uh, D-protect, which is kind of annoying. 
So you d this fight takes about ha uh, 30 seconds, maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit less, depending on how good luck you get with deep protects and stuff like that. But yeah, it does not take long to beat this guy, and you can you can max out your Crystallium very, very fast at this rate. Hopefully you find this useful and you haven't missed out on this, but if you have, um, there's plenty of adamant choices, and there's also the Behemoth King and that white dog that's all, that you can always get pre to strike. And if you're strong enough, you can uh, beat that those two guys in like 10 seconds and get 16k experience. Assuming you have the Grey Fag, of course. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.